It's the beauty which drew me first. All around you are these nature's factories. The birds which go and pollinate, uh, squirrels taking nuts and burying them, and all the things under our ground. This bewildering tapestry of things that are happening, many of which are unobservable, invisible, and yet they are creating the atmosphere in which we humans can survive. But nature does not appear in economics. I mean, let's make that quite clear. My name is Partha Dasgupta. I'm the Frank Ramsey Professor Emeritus at the University of Cambridge in economics, and my main field of work is ecological economics. When you read economic forecasts, they talk about investment in factories, employment rates, GDP growth. They never mention what's happening to the ecosystems. So I really tried to reconstruct economics by placing the human economy as embedded in nature. My attention is on the productivity of nature and showing how economic possibilities are entirely dependent on this finite entity we call nature. Global demand for nature's goods and services exceed nature's ability to supply them on a sustainable basis. Mother Nature can be depreciated like that. You simply cut the forest. It's gone. When you pump carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, that's like depreciating the atmosphere. Now, GDP will not count that destruction. You could have a growing economy, but they've put a huge pressure on the biosphere, leading to biodiversity loss, climate change. So I think the way we measure economic success or failure needs to be built with this in mind. But I'm sorry to say, most economists come from a math background, not from a biological background. So there's some resistance to ecological thinking. But more importantly, there was some hostility as well. Economics teaching continues assessing the performance of the global economy in which nature doesn't really enter. Our job is now to literally take dramatic actions, transformative actions. We should try and understand the world around us because if you actually see nature at work, you cannot but be in awe of it. No matter with who you study, whether you study a household or a village or a town or a country or the world as a whole, you must accommodate the fact that the economy in question is surrounded by nature. And the message is we are trashing nature in a big way. And we can't continue doing that. And we'll be paying the price, if not us, our grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Let's count nature in. Join Generation Restoration.